Ladies and gentlemen, a cat museum. Boys and girls, you'll love it too. So I'm, I'm going to introduce you guys all, but first I think I'd like to throw out some questions because, you know, that's a bit bizarre. So <laughs> I would kind of describe you guys, I mean it's hard to describe as a journalist to describe your music. You know, I, I would say maybe uh, uh, like a rock orchestra with hints of industrial, techno, rave, punk, uh, it's all over the board with I, I've never heard a band with so many different sounds. The most important element is the improvisation. And every time we play the, the movie, we know certain things to hit, but it's always impro improvisation. You see, but it looks to me like the screen is your conductor. It's uh, it's the one structure of it, of anything we do. You know, we, uh, we are individually as musicians free to cough up anything that we feel appropriate. But it's the movie that guides us. The main motivation we get from these films is there's a story, a thread that runs through all of them that has to do with cats evolving from one life to the next and what happens to them after they've completed that ninth life. You can use this mallet. Make everything echo and, and sound like it's in a different place. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Thank Potter. Wow. Sounds almost convincing as a harpist. Same with a cello. But it also
also have tribes. Has again hundreds of different synthesizers in a uh, handheld instrument. The most interesting thing about it is that there's a button that says random on it. And if you push that button, everything changes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jim within. This uh, turntable was originally uh, for tiny apartments in, in Japan, uh, so it was a wall mount turntable. I've only seen one other guitar turntable, and it was in a Tone Loke video, but it didn't, it didn't look like it worked. <laughs> and where do you buy these guitars? Well, I'm making them all myself. You make these guitars? Yeah, it, um, yeah. This. Yeah, like Art <laughs> So I just play this and try and fit it into the general fabric of uh, what the other band members are doing. So uh, we're a band of many moods. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Ozgang. <laughs> and we're going to present to you Bo Chung, <laughs> the man in white. <laughs> now, Bo, you play the theremin. The theremin. I believe it was invented in the 20s. The 1920s? Uh, the 1920s. No and way. It's basically the first electronic instrument. There are a pair of ribbon controlled uh, synthesizers that make a lot of fun sounds. That is the members of the Cat Museum. The band itself was actually the brainchild of a guy named Victor Balo. Back in the 1980s, Victor and I were looking through some magazines that we brought home from a thrift shop that I worked at. And on the back of some Boys Life magazines were ads that said, All roads lead to Cat Museum. Cat Museum has had many members over the years. Uh, we lost count at around 40 or 50. Um, obviously, there's a, a huge psychedelic influence, and obviously, cats are psychedelically influenced, and all of us are cat aficionados. We're sort of translating how a cat might feel about music, art, being at the center of attention, and all these wild adventures, lives that they live over and over and over again. Cat Museum is evolved or devolved, one or the other, into a quartet. At the moment, it's working really well as a four piece. And there's a spirit that runs through it. All the people that were involved in it before brought their own thing, and that spirit has carried on into this version. Uh, we all kind of channel the other players that were here before us. Thank you for tuning to On the Couch, which is off the couch today. Remember, all roads lead to the Cat Museum.